Hey bro, what's up? Hey man, what's up? How are you doing? Doing good, doing good. How's vacations been going? Vacations are done, right? How's it going? Yeah, I was in Australia for the last two weeks and it was going amazing. So what did you do? What did you do in Australia? I can show you a few pictures if you would like to see. Yeah, go. Let's sh- share the screen. It'll be great. Are you able yeah. to speak? Whoa, that's amazing. Yo, that's in the New Year's, right? Or was it the... Was it on the yeah, yeah. So, so the thing is, every weekend, that is every Saturday evening around 9 p.m. or something, there are fireworks happening over in the Sydney Bridge. Then we went to a road trip. So this is like the main uh, beach in the Queensland. So this is the Gold Coast. And they even have the beach with the whitest sand on earth. I thought, I thought we had that in India in Kutch. In Gujarat? Uh, I think this is in some, I think some records or something. So now that since we're doing this on computer, I feel like we can fact check some of the stuff on Google. What is the most whitest beach? (laughs) (laughs) I hope this is, this doesn't give some racist answer. (laughs) (laughs) Let's see. The name of the beach is Hyams, H-Y-A-M-S. Right. So what we essentially have done in this uh, show right yeah, now. Yeah, the first one. Now. You see? Hyams Beach in New South Wales, Australia. Yeah. yeah. Not bad, you're right. <laughs> so we, what we be, essentially become is like a fact check for traveling show. That's what student diaries has now become. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Excellent. And that's, that, that was the thought process I had in my head when I started this whole thing. Then we went to the Blue Mountains. So you can see there is a tint of blue over the mountains, right? So right. that because of the eucalyptus that is growing over there, you know, it's... You oh, get... wait, did you, did, you, did you get like snakes or spiders in your bathroom? No, nah, I, I think Instagram and everything that shows it in you, it's, it's a bit of too much. It's not actually <laughs> the case in most of the places. But, but, but I could see kangaroos. <laughs> I know we have seen, we have seen tons of videos where kangaroos get aggressive and stuff, but <laughs> yeah. A lot of times, yeah. <laughs> but these ones were like, you know, super cool. They are like used to people going around them. So it was pretty good. One more thing I wanted to talk about was, which uh, unfortunately even there was uh, the R series, the R event. I'm sorry, uh, Arjun, I'm getting a, a call from Tiago. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, uh, did you uh, did you have a chance to take a look at uh, the text for the next R event? I actually didn't want to talk to you about it, but uh, bef- before that, like, I'm I'm actually doing the student diary thing. I'll be done in like five minutes, and then we can talk about it. What do you yeah, say? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. now that you're here, like, I have to say, like, I was actually talking with Arjun about the R event. And it's like, almost like for two, it was you calling. You doing this now in your position compared to when you first started as a PhD student. What was it like? When we started R, this was in 2011. Um, and back then, I I had my, I guess I had my own personal motivations. I've always been interested in science outreach. And also the fact that there was no science uh, outreach activity uh, active at the institute at the moment. Right. So we kind of like uh, decided to, you know, let's let's start making these uh, outreach events to the general audience, talk about the science we're doing here in the institute, to invite you know, researchers from all over the world to share their science. And, and that was it. And, and now coming back to it, you know, after so many years and after you know, being in a very different position now in my career, but my, 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 my personal interest is still the same. I, I also personally think we did a really good job. Uh, yeah, uh, we got a lot of ama- great feedback from our first event. Yeah. People saying, hey, uh, finally, I understood some concepts about, <laughs> you know, artificial neural networks, or I really love the discussion about intelligence, or it was so cool to have this AI agent uh, talking on the screen. Uh, yeah. I think that's, uh, that's the best. Uh, that's the best part. All right, thanks, you. Like, I have to get back bye, to the bye, thing. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Have a good evening. Bye. You too. Okay. Back to Arjun. But yeah, anyway, Arjun, by the time this video will come out, it will be the end of January. And it's also the end of the application time for the PhD program. Now, the same time last year, we were like scrambling with applications, with right filling up so many applications, left, right, and center. So yeah, yeah, right. If an incoming PhD student is like watching this, I understand your pain and misery. Totally, we really get it, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So 
any advice you would give if somebody like that is watching this oh uh, stay motivated don't lose hope if you are not getting replies from applications because you know that happen all the time make it till you make something like that right what was he saying fake it till you make it <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Don't fake it. So That's what she it. said. At least in terms of the Champlain's PhD program, if you do get in, world class PhD as advertised, and you know, what by the way, what do you think so far about the PhD program? Yeah, man, I got to learn a lot, new techniques, new stuff, the mouse handling and everything. So that was, yeah. o- although we had a lot of pretty intense stuff during the coursework. But I think all of us were together and we made it in a way that all of us enjoyed it, you know. So I think that was the main part of the coursework that we were very well bonded and all of us were doing it together. That was pretty good. I'm glad you're back. Like, you know, good to see you again on yeah, uh, yeah. video. You know, now that we're back again from next month on, you know, because you're my trusty videographer and cameraman. Yeah. You know, I couldn't do this That's job with I'm the man behind the lens all the time. So if you see good videos, I'm the one who is shooting it. All right, man. See you. Bye-bye. Right, see, see you. Ya. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, before you leave, you know, Robert is back. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to see him day after tomorrow, man.